Hey everyone, Jordan Such Reviews here. Today's review is going to be on Mini Gore. But first off, I want to give a quick shout out to JGood1994. This guy does case reviews, product reviews, unboxings, great giveaways, app reviews, jailbreaking tutorials, firmware features, basically the whole Apple genre he's got in his videos. So if you guys are into that kind of stuff, go check him out. Links in the sidebar. He's got around 420 subscribers. So take a look at his videos, channel, and of course subscribe if you like what he's doing. So like I said, today's review is going to be on Minigore, developed by Chilingo and Mountain Sheep, and can be found in the App Store for 99 cents. Minigore is a third-person 3D shooter for the iPhone and iPod Touch. You control a character called John Gore, um, trying to keep him alive for as long as possible in the woods, defending him from little creatures or monsters trying to kill him with various amount of weapons. So let's go ahead and start the game up. Plug in my headphones and switch it over to landscape mode. So on the main menu, what we have is play, options, credits, online, and high score. When you hit play, you start from the beginning with a score of zero, making your way throughout the game. Options, you have a good amount of options here. You can change the music, the sound effects, John Gore's voice throughout the game. Turn on expert mode, which is just a crazy mode that bombards you with a million monsters. That's really hard, but it's a good way to develop your skills. You can decide whether to show the control pads during the game. You can flip the screen around so it's upside down and go back to the main menu credits you'll show the credits you know the developers and all that online you can submit your own high score and view other people's high score you can view your personal high score right here and let's go ahead and hit play so the controls are fairly simple you have a blue analog stick on the left side to control John's movement and a red analog stick to control the shooting you have your um, Clovers on the top there, when you collect three clovers, you can actually transform into an invincible monster itself, um, and you can bash your way throughout the monsters, killing them, collecting the points without taking damage, but only for a certain amount of time. Your score is located in the top, right there, and you can uh, pause the game at any time by clicking the little pause icon. So let's show you guys some gameplay now. The graphics are pretty amazing for such a small little game. Uh, the gameplay reminds me a lot of I, Dracula, but of course more cartoonish with um, cube-like characters. So you start out with a machine gun, as you see here, has unlimited ammo, but you can upgrade later on to a shotgun um, by cl uh, collecting the crates. Like I said, when you collect three four-leaf clovers, you can also change into an invincible monster where you can run into all the other um, monsters collecting the points without taking any damage, but only for um, a certain amount of time. As you can see here, I just collected one clover, so I just need two more, and hopefully I can show you guys the invincibility mode, which is pretty intense. The monsters do get harder throughout the game. They uh, get bigger and actually can separate into smaller monsters, so it does get pretty challenging later on in the game. This is a really great pick up and play style gameplay, since you can just pick up, uh, it is auto save, so you can save your last uh, high score. So you won't lose that. And you can also play your own music in the background with the 3.0 firmware only. So you guys can see here the bigger monsters that are separating. As you see there. Hopefully I won't die and have time to just show you guys the invinci invincibility mode. Because that is the, the best part of the game. And there's the last one right there. So once I pick it up you guys can see I turn into this flaming monster. And I can crash into all the other uh, monsters without taking any damage and it runs out uh, once your clovers you know die off so I don't want to show you guys too much of the game uh, that's for you guys to find out for yourself when you decide to purchase this or not as you can see here I'm just about to get mobbed and beat up shows your high scores and you got this nice little cartoon of John Gore eating one of the monsters. So, um, I'm going to talk about some updates that I think should come in the future. This is only episode 1, so the developers guarantee some updates in the future. But, some updates I hope to see. First of all, some more weapons. Right now, all we have is the shotgun and the machine gun and the invincibility mode. There is potential for a lot better weapons and um, better gameplay that way. Secondly, I hope to see a multiplayer mode. Not really um, trying to battle out against your friends but more of you know teaming up co-op with your friends in a campaign battle where you can now uh, fight the monsters with your friends protecting each other I think that'd be pretty cool not worldwide maybe locally over Wi-Fi I think that um, 
uh, would, would really top off this game and push it up to the top um, to stay there for a while. So those are some updates I hope to see in the future, but there will be updates, so pick it up while you can for the cheap price of 99 cents. Definitely recommend this game. My rating out of 5 is 4, but it probably will increase up to 5 out of 5 with the new updates to come. So that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed my quick review on Minigore, uh, available in the App Store for 99 cents. Make sure to go check out jgood1994 and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Jordan's Touch Rev. Um, links you guys will need will be in the sidebar description box. So that's all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, rate, comment like always, and I'll see you all in my next video.